Hello, lovely ones. I am. Um, I wasn't actually going to do a reading today, but um, spirit had other ideas and made it very clear to me that um, that they had a. Um, something to say so whoever this is for I uh, I hope it resonates and I hope you get what you need from it um, because right now lovely ones I'm just going with the flow I uh, I'm very very glad that um, that the Scorpio full moon has passed. Um, I've got Venus in Scorpio. And uh, to be honest, it was kicking my ass. So I'm uh, really quite glad that it's moved on. I'm using the White Sage Tarot today. Beautiful, beautiful cards to handle and... And I just really like the simplicity of them. I'm also using the Ask Your Guide uh, Oracle by Sonia Coquette. And if I need to, I really love the um, Journey of Love Oracle by Alana um, Fairchild as well. I love some of her cards. She does beautiful cards. Um, I'm just wondering... If there's anything else we need to know. Is there anything else? Yes. Oh, someone asked me the other day if I was nervous um, because my hands shake. So if you're wondering, no, I'm not nervous. Uh, my hands shake because I, uh, my nerves, not nervous nerves, but muscle nerves um, like to dance regularly. So at the bottom of the deck today, we've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Hanged Man and the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So that's you know quietly working waiting for your harvest to come in you have been working you've been working I, I like I like the vision of of a monk going about their work you know in a vegetable garden or something and they're just they just quietly go about their work and then they they almost hold the space for the plants to grow and for their, their harvest to ripen. They just allow the space for that to be held in its healthiest environment. So they keep the weeds away and they make sure it's got water, but they don't try to rush it. They just hold the space for the plant to grow. Um, Yeah, so that's that's what I've got from that. Just holding the space. Let's see what else we've got coming out. Okay. This is really interesting. This is really interesting. Something started, something is, it's, it's new, it's fresh, it's very young, whatever it is. Just 
just bear with me because this is obviously meant for somebody and I don't want to rush through it I think I think this is for somebody who's dealing with somebody else and and they're not sure how to how to go about it how how to handle the challenge now this this is the start of this is the, the card of the fool and in this deck it's a puppy so it strikes me as a ch possibly a child that you might be looking after perhaps at an an older parent because they revert to um, childhood behaviors uh, sometimes you know if they have dementia or or if they are unable to care for themselves it's almost like they have reverted to um, to being a child so whether it's a your child or a parent um, or somebody else's child or just someone very young and immature I get the feeling that that's who you're dealing with and you're not quite sure how to how to do it now the four of cups usually in the standard tarot the four of cups shows um, someone wistfully sitting under a tree with three kind of cups and and a big um, cup being offered symbolic of the hand of God here is this great cup and the the person sitting under the tree is kind of looking back at it going well no you know either I'm in, I'm ignoring that because I'm so busy moping over these three that I don't see it or it's the same thing and I kind of couldn't be asked taking the same thing but in this card what's coming through to me is a a joining of of forces so instead of instead of being separate in in what you're what you're doing or who's doing it it's it's like the intelligence of the group it takes a community to raise a child so instead of trying to do it all alone gather in your support system and and or pool pool your resources is what i'm getting and that will and if you're all drinking from the same cup you're all on the same page maybe you've all been trying to deal with this this issue or this child on your own and haven't been communicating and so there's been differences of of how this this child or this issue has been dealt with but if you all pull your resources and you all drink from the same cup so to speak you're all on the same page so whatever or whoever this is will get a much clearer and consistent um direction on where they need to go what they're supposed to do and following the the four of cups is the four of pentacles which is um again in this case different to the standard tarot the standard tarot is holding on and and protecting and guarding and, and you know it's mine you can't have it it's almost you know go and get your own this is all mine but in this card it, it shows me as as a flowing i mean look at the colors in the two cards it's it's the same it's consistency it's a real flow both of cards are flowing you you want this flow connected flow a flow of information or a flow of behaviors or a flow of standards but but this is this is what what 
you're either after and not getting or you need in order to deal with this situation. The King of Wands is, is here kind of... It's funny, you've only got two major arcanas and the Fool is at the very beginning in its perfect placement. And, and right down the bottom you've got the Devil. But in this card, it, the Devil's asleep. It's not offering the apple. It's not trying to convince anybody did you like that s convince anybody of behaving a certain way or doing anything or working from their ego this particular devil is sound asleep so i think that bodes well the king of wands is passionate fiery driven um can be quite heated and maybe that's the, the the shadow side of this is that they can become quite literally fiery and aggressive, loud and and over the top. They they can lose their shit. Um, so maybe this reading, maybe that's what you've been struggling with. You you're frustrated and you don't know how to handle this situation and so you've kind of been in the shadow side of this king of wands and this this is advising you that you don't have to do it all on your own the king does not have to be the ruler and and do everything on their own make all their own decisions yes they are you know, maybe the head of the household, for want of a, a better word. Um, but but they do have, you know, a good king won't just make their own decisions. A good king will, will seek advice, direction and guidance. They will ask questions if they're not sure. Um, and if they don't know, they are really um smart in choosing the people who who have the best knowledge to advise them you don't have to do it all alone um it doesn't all fall on your shoulders look look a bit further they've got magnificent eyes in this just really fly higher Get fly above what's going on and literally get the Hawkeye view. So the bigger picture. Step out of whatever this is. Whatever you're struggling with, step out of it. Fly above it. Look at it from a clearer vantage point. And, and you'll get more balance because here's the Six of Pentacles. And this is a very balanced grounded equal give and take fair's fair um coming out it, the pentacles are, are the ones who are you know singing quite loudly in this in this layout and that's very grounded very earth um energy you know diligent working and material belongings and um, family and work, um, things like that. So I'd say whatever you're dealing with, um, I just got the word traction. You're looking for some traction. Um, so I'd say get some help. Ask for help. Rally in the troops. And, and they will give you a better idea of how to deal with the devil in your midst. Now, the devil in your midst can be, you know, this is a kind of placid little devil. It could be like an imp. I still, I'm still picking up a child. 
you know, you little devil, you little scamp, you little imp. They're cheeky, they're naughty. Um, but if if it's a work colleague, you know, I don't think that we're, we're dealing with someone, you know, intentionally being horrible and nasty. I feel like this is for some someone who's just at the end of their wits of, of what do I do? I feel like I'm all alone. But in a lot of cases, we do that to ourselves. We're not really having to deal with this on our own. If we look a bit higher, we will see the people standing on the outskirts just waiting to come in. If you if you look at it like this, and I'm hoping you can see what I'm trying to get at. You're, you're down here in the trenches trying to make all the decisions and and control the situation and you're being pulled in all these different directions but if you use your wings fly a bit a bit higher and look at it from a different perspective out here are all these extra people who are prepared to come in and help but when you're down here in it you can't see them so look don't be afraid to ask for help see with this seven of pentacles and i said holding the space i think you've got people who will do that for you if you call them in because there's the hanged man and that could be very well how you're feeling at the moment upside down but this this hanged man instead of hanging down and looking from you know quite calmly looking from a different perspective he's doubled back on himself so he's not really looking at things from a, a different perspective and then there's the six of swords next so it's moving on you need to move on from this current way this current way of looking at things move on from that and and ask for help and get these people these people who love and and want to help you to hold the space for you they will they will make sure the weeds are gone and that you're getting fed and watered and enough sun so you can healthily deal with whatever you're dealing with and they will be your support they will be the stake that holds you up while you grow and develop so call in your gardeners i say to help you deal with this fool <laughs> that you're dealing with let's see what our guides have to say is there any advice that you can give us on this like I said I don't think the fools I don't think this frustration I just saw someone trying to pull their hair out it's like I remember when my son was really little and he was going through this real defiant stage. Uh, we're talking like two or three. Um, and I felt like all we did was fight. It was this constant power struggle of, of you know, the, the no argument. No. And, and it didn't matter how I dealt with it or what I tried or didn't try or anything. And, and I was, I'm a fire sign, so I was really the king of wands. And I used to blow my top and then I'd try and look at it wisely and calmly. And, and I remember ringing my mother and just saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, and as she, she said to me, just keep going. You have to keep going. 
because if you stop now they won't know they'll just know that if they want something different to you and they persist long enough that that you will give in and they won't know boundaries and they won't know what's what's appropriate and what's not you have to keep going you have to be the winner and it's not it's not a, a you know a, i'm bigger than you unhealthy um dysfunctional kind of i'm the parent you're the child i'm the winner it was a real i am responsible for your safety and your upbringing and so i have to be i have to be more consistent i have to be the winner um uh, and so she my mother held the space for me she held the space for me so i could keep going and keep growing as a person the guardian angels have given me given us given you given everybody this reading the card of death as we know death isn't a physical total terminal death it's 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 the ending of something and the birth of something new now right here at the moment whoever this is for this is where you're at i give in i've had enough i just just make it stop sorry about the reflection i just want it to stop I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I just keep getting this overwhelming. I'm tired and not just fatigued. I'm bone tired. But your guardian angels are coming in and saying, it, we've got it. Hand it over to us. Hand it over to us. Call in your help. We'll gather the help. You call them in, we'll gather them. And put this exhaustion to bed. Just let it go. Let it die. Look after yourself and, and ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I, I, can, I can feel the exhaustion. And the... the um, I can literally feel it. Whoever this is, whoever this is resonating with, I, I completely feel the frustration, the exhaustion, the tired, the confusion, the, the desire to just throw your hands in the air and say, oh, enough have it have whatever it is you want if you want to run onto the road to catch your ball just run i'm tired i can't fight anymore if you don't want to eat fruit and vegetables live on cocoa pops i don't care i'm tired i can't fight i don't have another fight in me i, I understand that i can feel it from here so whoever you are know that you're not alone you really aren't but just just rest don't give up and the last card that came out from the journey of love which is what this truly is is the rings of time this is my this too shall pass card this too shall pass whatever it is it will go away it will pass and you will be wiser for it just take a breath have a sleep get someone to come and and give you a hand if it's a parent get some respite if it's a child get a babysitter just breathe go to the beach have a bath sit in a church go to a park whatever it is just 
take a breather, take a breath, and um, and things will settle down. They will get better, and you will discover that you've got a lot more help than you realised, and you're not as alone as you think you are. Anyway, my love to you. I'm sending you a big hug. And I hope this reaches you. All right. Love and hugs. Kisses too.